Hello everyone, this is a little snippet of what my daily life looks like living by the sea in a share house on the coast. My life isn't very extravagant, but rather quite simple really, and I prefer it that way. I don't like the idea of a necessary clutter in my life from things, so I only really buy what I need and try to be as minimalistic as possible. My journey to living a simple life started about eight years ago. I've always been very intrigued and curious about health and nutrition, but I really started to dive deep into researching into it just after graduating high school. I started looking into the vast amounts of chemicals we use and are exposed to on a daily basis and slowly started cutting out conventional products like skin creams, toothpastes, soaps, shampoos, conditioners and cleansers and then replacing them with my own homemade natural versions. Over the coming years I managed to replace all my bathroom products so I moved on to food and the products I bought to eat. I wanted to cut out as much single-use plastics as I could as I was learning about the impacts plastic was having on our health and the health of the planet. I bought as many reusable items as I needed and began making almost everything I ate from scratch. My favourite place to shop for reusables is Biomi as they're a plastic free, palm oil free or natural store that sell really really good quality products. For food, I'll tend to buy all my produce plastic free from the markets and local grocers and I'll source any dry foods I need like nuts and seeds from the local bog food store near me. During this time, I've been vegan for just over six years, but I just recently moved towards a vegetarian slash pescatarian diet where I'll have a little fish here and there every now and then to help boost my omega-3s in my diet. This journey has been quite a ride. I've learnt a great deal about the importance nutrition and diet plays in our health and longevity, and it's something that I continue to learn more about each day. Yum. This all started for me because I wanted to reduce the toxin load on my body, as we're exposed to over 2,000 known toxins a day, which is a lot for the liver to process and detoxify. But over time, it's led me to live a more intentional, eco and health conscious life. I love the simple life as each day I do things that move me towards better health and more connection with friends, family and with nature. I shop at health food stores, local markets and grocers because that's where I want to use my money intentionally to promote more of what I value. I ride my bike, one, because it's cheaper and it's what I can afford at the moment, but also because it allows me to slow down, notice things around me that I wouldn't see driving, and enjoy the journey. I also do almost all my clothes shopping at thrift stores. I love the idea of giving clothes a second chance and to help reuse what is already available to us. My all-time favourite thing to do though is to cook and experiment with new recipes in the kitchen. I recently made some vegan gluten-free Nutella donuts from scratch at home because I would walk past this donut stand every time I went to the shops and the temptation to just buy one of those chocolatey donuts was really building. So to avoid buying one and then regretting it later, I decided I would make my own healthier version at home that was dairy-free and gluten-free.
I was really proud of how they turned out, so I shared the recipe on my website, simplynaturalnessa.com, so if you'd like to make them too, you can find it there. Rose water has been a recent addition to my skincare routine, as I only just started making it at home myself too. I first heard about rose water around 8 years ago when I was researching into natural products to use for skin as my sister was suffering with severe acne at the time and I was looking up natural remedies for it. I never used to buy rose water as it was quite pricey but when I discovered one of my favourite plastic free stores, Biomi, was selling organic rose petals I had to give it a try. The process is really simple and produces a really good quality water. The full recipe is also up on my website if you want to have a go at making it yourself. I usually add it to my homemade moisturiser now to help keep my skin healthy. My dream for the future is to have my own acreage where I can grow a self-sustainable garden and live off the land. I'd love to have a place where I can go forage for berries or herbs or flowers and to be away from the hustle and bustle of the city. A place that's peaceful, quiet and close to nature. For now though, I've been working on creating a beautiful garden in our backyard of our house. So I've started growing aloe vera to use for my skincare routine. I've also started growing calendula flowers to also use in my DIY products like calendula cream or to make calendula infused oil. I've been growing some basil to use in my recipes like pesto. And I've also recently bought some raspberry seeds to hopefully be able to grow my own raspberry bush in our backyard so I can pick fresh raspberries from our garden and not need to buy them in those plastic packaged containers. I do really miss the garden that I helped create back home in Sydney where I was growing carrots and lettuce and capsicum but I'm really excited to start again and create a whole new garden. I just get so excited when I see the first sprout coming through the soil and to know that I helped to grow that. At the moment as I live so close to the coast I do my best to really enjoy where I am right now. I go to the beach as much as I can and try and walk along the sand and swim in the water to immerse myself in nature and to feel connected to the earth. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful weekend ahead and that you take care of yourself and stay healthy and strong. I hope to see you again soon and I'm sending you so much love.